All right, Larry, indeed a one-sided affair to this point as we get set for half two. And he'll wind up getting an extra couple yards here for his trouble as he'll bring this one out to the 27. Out comes this field general once more leading his offense back onto the field. And we have seen him to this point with four touchdowns. We get a glance at his work. It's been good work. Oh, it's been excellent work and it's made so much better by our guys. Look at that montage of great <laughs> plays that they put together. Absolutely beautiful. I mean, you speak it pretty well. But these guys, the pictures they put up, oh. So very good, and he's got his team in the lead right now. And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. They'll give it to him right up the gun. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. No gain on the play there. Second down. Another pistol look here. They'll give it to him right up the gun. And he is going to lose yardage here. It'll be a loss of one. And that'll bring up a third and 11 situation. Will the defense dial up the pressure? Let's see. Third and 11. Here we go. One, One, now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. And he's got his man on the out route. They stop him for only three that time, and that'll bring up fourth down. Well, they brought the pressure, and that meant man coverage behind him, so he's still able to complete the pass. Even as he took the hit, and that's what you have to do, because I was just talking with a coach the other day, and he said, look, it's not always going to be pretty back there. You're going to have to give me completions. Even when you're taking some hits, sometimes you have to be your own blitz control, for lack of a better term. Got to make completions, step up and make those throws, and he did that. A well-hit ball there. 50 yards on the punt, three on the return. And the Steelers will go on offense here, first and 10. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. They were able to get the stop defensively. Now a chance really to set the tone here in quarter three. They can really take charge, can't they? And this is probably how it was drawn up at the half. I think we can go inside the locker room, all right? And I think we would see up on the grease boards, stop them defensively, get the ball back for the offense, and let's go downfield and score. Seems simple, right? The last part, we have to find out if that's going to happen. But the first part worked to perfection. Did exactly what they wanted, and now their offense has to pay it off. See if they can get the latter 50%. Back to throw now on second and ten. And this is going to be incomplete. Holding offense. So holding by the offense and maybe now got to shift up what you want to do on the playbook. Yeah, definitely. Change what you're doing in the playbook, but boy, the advantage shifts to the guys on defense, doesn't it? Longer yardage situations, they often become bolder. They'll give it to him right up the gun. And some room to work. He's at the 50. He's at the 30, 10, and into the end zone. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. A great play there, 88 yards. And the Steelers are able to close the gap just a bit. And that run massively increased his production in this game, and now he's over 100 yards. And break out your calculator, partner, because his yards per carry went up it's significantly, right? Big time jaunt all the way to the end zone. Now they'll line up to kick the extra point. And this is up and good. It cuts the lead to 28-10 now. So two plays on that scoring drive. That's how they drew it up. And a long run into the end zone, and what a run it was.
The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. That's fielded in the end zone. Oh, a heck of a move. Oh, man. And he'll bring it a few past the 20 to the 23-yard line. And now Cleveland geared up to take the field. And they're coming off a three and out, my friend. I think they've got to look at that play sheet and go to a spot that they haven't gone before. Time to shake things up a little bit to try and get this offense moving. Okay, so how do you do that? How do you shake things up? You look at what you've called before, realize it hasn't worked <laughs> go to so something well, else. and maybe you try and find one of those special plays from one of your better players and maybe try and hit something big and get things going in the excitement area. Well, I guess we just discovered that someone is certainly not going to sit back and just take it in this game, huh? No, they were trying to get that touchdown back in one shot. One shot, trying to help out his defense and let the other team know they were coming after him. <laughs> Offense looking to avoid a third and long. It's second and ten. Gun. They'll look to throw. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. So completion on second down. That brings up third. Now they'll throw here, out of the gun. And he can't quite pick it. No interception so far. That probably should have been their first. But at least it's fourth down. Oh, man, that was close. The opportunity to change momentum, big play, right in his hands, unable to come down with it. A sigh of relief, no doubt, on offense that that fell harmlessly to the ground. The Browns send out their punter now as he'll kick it away for the second time. Pulled in at the 24. 44-yard punt, return of nine. And possession will switch hands first and 10. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. And they're hoping to capture some of that magic they had last time out when they were able to put together a scoring drive. But they're still down here, Charles. Not the major concern, though, because of what you talked about. They scored the last time out. They feel good about themselves. They feel like their game plan is now in effect. They know how to attack and what plays they want to put together. But they've got to keep it moving in the right direction because, as you did note, they are down on the scoreboard. And they're six yards away from picking up the first here on second down. And to give this time to the tailback. And he'll get this up to about the 38-yard line. Call it a gain of a yard, and it's going to bring up third and five. So second down was a run play. Now let's see what they do on third. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. He rifles one that's intercepted. A great read, and it's picked off. And they get the football. They'll set up shop at their own 49-yard line. He's had his interception woes early in his rookie season, but sometimes that happens. There are great examples of guys in the past that have had those same struggles early. You are so correct. And what the team and organization is hoping, we're going to see these woes now. But later, when we're helping him with his Hall of Fame speech, we'll remember his rookie year and how things began. And they'll run it here. And he'll lose yardage here, back at the 47. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. And they're behind the sticks here a bit, now dealing with a second and 12. They'll look to throw. Yeah, quick throw here, that's complete. That catch good for five, it's third down. 
short of the sticks after that completion, and now it's third down for this offense. Come on, let's go. Now back to throw. Finding time. And he'll just toss it away. So he throws it away, and that brings up fourth down. Good job by the O-line quarterback. Had time to go through his checks. That's one you need to take advantage of. A perfect situation, and they're unable to take advantage of it. When you have that much time to scan the field, you have to find an open receiver. First kick, 47. This one looks good as well. That one sails out of bounds. A side judge will walk it off. And he says it went out of bounds at the nine-yard line. Nice punt. The Steelers' offense now. They get ready to head back on the field. And following the interception, we'll see what they can put together on this drive. I can hear my old college coach right now. He always used to tell us before every game, the team making the fewest mistakes will win. And this turns into disaster. He's not going to get forward progress. That'll be a safety. Well, this whole line, they've had trouble with a pass rush all game long. This time, it cost them two points. I mean, you've got a quarterback back there who's running for his life, and he's had no time to throw the football. They've sacked him time and again, and this time, they do it in the end zone. You said it, partner. No time, none whatsoever. So after that safety, now a free kick situation forthcoming as they punt it away from the 20. This is taken around the 12. The Steelers' defense getting ready here for this next possession. Their stay on the field last time was short-lived with a three and out. See if they can get some more of that. And ordinarily, you want to be on the field playing, right? But three and out, that's almost gold to a defense. Get to the bench, get some rest. Turn the ball over to your offense. We'll see what they can do here. See if they can force another three and out. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he'll be tackled at about the 35. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Does not matter what the yardage is on that play. Why? Because you're watching a running back who doesn't go down easily. There may be contact, but he's fighting for every inch, every yard. His teammates will get excited when they watch that. Now a handoff here to his running back. And the hole closes quickly there. He gets maybe a couple up to the 38. Going to give this time to the tailback. And he's got the first down yardage before he's brought down at the 42. A gain of four that time as the drive continues. So here we go, first and ten now. They come out here in the eye. And he'll give it here to his running back. And yeah, nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Second down following the run. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And running room scarce here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. The tackle was made by Michael Bennett. They've been giving up big gains throughout this game. Finally, they bottle him up. Perhaps this is the spark they needed moving forward. They'll look to throw here. Throwing left side, it's complete. A good pick up there of 20 yards. So for that big gain, let's see what else the offense has up its sleeve. I don't care how many times we see it, I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass trade in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. Back to throw here. To the sideline, and oh, a nice catch there. Made sure the feet were inbounds, and they were. And when you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie, 
you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you downfield. He reads defenses so well, doesn't he? He really does, and the best part about that play for him, I don't think that was his primary target. I don't think so either. I think he had the read, figured out where the blitz was coming from, and went to a secondary target for a really nice game. This will be the ninth play on this drive. Here we go. Check, check. Now a play fake here on first down. And that's going to be caught for a Browns touchdown. Their dangerous wide receiver. His second touchdown of the game and his ninth on the year. And the Browns add six to their lead. And they use that height on the outside to get the score. We've seen the evolution of the wide receivers. They've gotten taller and taller, but they've retained their quickness and their speed. It's a lethal combination. Always good to have wide receivers with height. And this one through the uprights and good. So that one a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive. And it ends with a touchdown for Cleveland. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This one taken just inside the 10. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. Out comes the Steeler offense now, ready to see what they can do here. And last time they surrendered the safety, we know they don't want to do that again. That is just one of those oddities in scoring that we get. And it's just so strange to see that go up on the board. And then you got to make sure that that doesn't happen to your team again. They've got to take care of the ball. But boy, it juices up the defense. Oh, without a doubt. That's a great way to score some points. He'll drop to throw. And he will find his man on the outside. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. No matter how you evaluate quarterbacks, at some point, arm strength is going to come into the conversation. I'm really impressed by what I saw on that throw on the out route. Hey, watch the ball. Hurry up, here we go. Green, 39. Ah! They'll run it now out of the gun. And he will be brought down at about the 43 that time. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. And after the play on the ground, that brings up second down here. They'll set up a throw. Quick hitter here, it's complete. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. So here we go, a third down after the second down pass completion. And on the ground they go with a running back. And he has the first down yardage before they bring him down right at the 45. But not a fun game at all for anyone who's playing defense on the field at this point. They just gave up another first down on another good run. I wonder if the defense coordinator just says, let's sell out, play against the run, and not worry about getting beat by the pass. And a new set of downs here after picking up the first on the ground. Now they'll run it on the toss. Uses his stiff arm. We have played three quarters. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Back now in Pittsburgh. A lot of folks starting to make their way to the parking lot. Their guys trail big here to begin quarter number four. They come up in an empty set. Four wide receivers, right, one tight end. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. And seeing nowhere to throw, he chucks this one away from harm. Incomplete. Now it's third down. Here's the seventh play of this drive. This is third and four. Of the 
gun. They'll look to throw. And he comes back with one complete. A pickup of five that time and a first down. So he makes the grab and the chains move forward. Nice job by the offensive line giving them time to complete that first down pass. And the eighth play on this drive coming up. First down, he'll drop to throw. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. It'll be a two-yard gain, and that'll make it second down. They'll look to throw again. He's got time. And he drops it incomplete. And their struggles continue here. We know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away. But the bottom line is, that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. They need to get this to the 24 on third down. Again, he'll drop to throw. And he fires one that's intercepted. A great read, and it's picked off. And his guys will take over at the 25-yard line. Well, you're trailing. It's the fourth quarter, and you've got to throw the football. But the defense knows this, too. So they're just going to sit back, bring in an extra defensive back or two, the old nickel or dime strategy, Brandon, and wait for you to put that bad boy up for grabs. And this one winds up being intercepted. And now Cleveland geared up to take the field. And they will simply, Charles, be looking to duplicate what they did last drive when they were able to push it in for six. And they hope it'll be that easy, right? To be able to take exactly what happened before, replicate it. They may have to make a few additional changes along the way because I'm sure the defense will make some adjustments, but they've got to have great confidence having scored the last time out. Now a handoff here to his running back. Just a couple on the pickup there, and now it's third down. Third down now following the run. They're going to look to throw. And he's got his man on the out route. They only get two there, but on third and one, that's all they needed to keep the drive going. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. Play clock here winding down. They'll give it to him right up the gut. Oh, what a move. Try to bounce it outside, but he's only able to get it back to the line of scrimmage. And that last carry puts him right at 100 yards for the game. So how has he done it? Because he's been patient. Followed his blocks, let everything develop, and then burst through for big gains. And to give this time to the tailback. And able to get this one all the way up to about the 46-yard line. A good run as he works his way for nine that time, and it'll leave him with a third and just a few inches. Oh, it's a nickel set here defensively on third and inches. Still want to be prepared for a pass. And he fires one, but incomplete. The Browns send out their punter now as he's on to kick it away. And that's blocked. The Steelers get it. Now they can run with it. Picked up inside the 35. A 
applaud the play. That tells me the effort is still there. They have not folded 10, decided this game is over. But they're in a really precarious situation even after that big momentum swing. Yeah, I think the, the 10's pretty much folded. But like you said, they haven't given up yet, right? Now the Steelers offense gets ready to get back onto the field. Looked like they had something going last drive. Then the interception happened. Will they recover? The memory they need to keep with them is that they did have something going. They were moving the ball on offense, had a nice sequence going. Don't worry about the other part. You can't get that back. Let's go back to what you were doing well before. I thought you were going to say they need to have no memory, but remember the good part, forget the bad. I like that even better. <laughs> Again, we'll see the pistol here. And they'll go with a ground attack here. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Okay, no score on that play, but this guy's been a touchdown machine all year long. You know they trust him with the football. See if they stay on the ground for second down. Another pistol look here. Now they'll throw here, out of the gun. And this is caught. I think he got that with one hand. It's a good gain of 11, sets him up first and goal. What a catch, and one-handed, and I'm starting to lose my awe about the play, and maybe I shouldn't. How much of this is the player? How much of it is the glove? Well, those gloves, they do have a little grip to them. They have a little extra tackiness to them now, and I know the guys in the NFL, the competition committee, some other places, they're talking about examining those gloves to see if they're having too much of an effect on the game. The 16 now after the sack. Here's third and goal. And they'll go on the ground. And he is going to lose yardage here. And a loss of three to bring up four. Let's just give credit where it belongs. The defensive front has out-leveraged the offensive guys trying to block them. We often say low man wins in tough situations. That's exactly what's happened here. Three straight runs, and they haven't been able to get into the end zone. Now whistles here before the snap, and it looks like one of the Steelers may have moved. A critical one here if they're going to have any shot at this thing. So they'll go for it on fourth down. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. Got his man. It's caught for a Steelers touchdown. Their dangerous wide receiver. His first touchdown on the year. And the Steelers are able to cut into that deficit. Wow, talk about a big fourth down conversion for the score defensively. How do you let that happen? Yeah, I think you start with the offense and you give them credit for going for it, having that type of, well, let's face it, audacity. But defensively, I think you're right on target, partner. There's no way something like that's supposed to happen in that situation. You're supposed to be able to shut that down and get the ball back for your own team. Instead, they give up not just a big play, but a touchdown. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This one taken just inside the 10. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. The Steelers' defense getting ready here. They'll be hoping to come up with that same type of effort they had last time when they forced the punt that led to a touchdown. And that type of effort just continues to carry over because once you get it done once, you feel like you can do it again and again. It's no guarantee, but you got to like the confidence that they take back out into the field. Now will they keep that confidence? Time to find out. They juked him. Oh, he's got some breathing room. And he takes it all the way down to the 28-yard line. It's a big play there for the Browns. 43 yards on the ground. 
They'll need to get the playoff quickly. They'll give it to him right up the gun. And he's going to bring this one down to right about the 20-yard line. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. In the red zone this time. He'll look to throw. Now they go screen. It's complete. And he'll wind up losing yardage here back at the 21-yard line. And they'll lose a yard that time, and that's going to lead to a third down. Now that screen there on second down certainly didn't develop how they had hoped. Is that one they should have even tried, or is that one the quarterback sticks in his pocket? I think the latter. I like what you said there because trying is one thing. We can second-guess just about every call. But in this case, when you realize it is broken down, just throw it at the feet of your intended receiver so that no one can pick it off, right? You don't have the ball tipped up in the air, and you come back and try and pick up the first down on third down. That way you don't lose any yardage. Only a yard on the pick up there, and it's going to leave them with a fourth down. So now the Browns will turn it over to their field goal unit here. Right hash, 37-yard attempt. And this one is right through. And that lead will move from 20 up now to 23. So a good kick there, and they finish off the drive with three. And that should be the goal for an offense, finish each drive with points. So that's a nice job there to come away with at least something. The Browns kicking team out there now as they'll send this one away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he'll get across the 20 before he's brought down at about the 23-yard line. The Browns' defense getting ready. See if they can regroup a little bit. They gave up the touchdown last drive. And you know from our meetings with coaches all across the league, one of their pet peeves, when teams get down, a lot of these guys now, they, they want to treat it like it's a video game or something. Hit reset. Let's start over, coach. Now the first two series, they don't even matter now. Let's, try, let's play again. That's not how it works. You're down. You gave up a touchdown. You can't do it again. You have to dig in, grit it out, and fight it out. Reset buttons. It's driving everybody crazy. There are no reset buttons when you're playing in this game. Preach, Chucky. Preach. There's a completion to the tight end, and I think that we're looking at something out of central casting, frankly. Absolutely. I mean, size, the hands. Speed. I mean, can flat out run. You put that whole package together, you light up the eyes of an offensive coordinator, don't you? Green, green, green. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. Offense comes to the line now, first and 10. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Down the numbers. There he goes. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Browns' defense has a touchdown. Charles, we've seen him target one of their main weapons time and time again. Maybe they went to that well too many times there. Yeah, and it's so difficult to determine how many times is too many because how many times have we seen a team go and play and say, until they stop us, we'll keep going. Well, they got stopped on that one, and it cost them six points. Point after try, forthcoming. And the lead is now an even 30. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. Go, 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 go. 
So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. We get a glance at the Browns' defense as they file into position. the drive he's got time in the pocket oh he's got a man wide open complete and the play goes for 19 yards gives him a new set of downs here we go now green 39 on first down he'll drop to throw and his throw is incomplete So the incomplete pass brings watch up break, second watch down. Watch break, watch break. Got hey, let's go. Three, 19. Come on, Three. They'll set up to throw. And a quick throw here. That's complete. That throw good for only a couple. It brings up third down. down at eight now. Check three, check three, check three. Single, single, single slot, single slot. All right, here we go. <laughs> They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. A great lead, and it's picked off. And they will take over at the 26-yard line. This spot in the fourth quarter with that deficit had to throw the football. Unfortunately, there's the risk of big turnover. And you know you're going to be throwing against nickel, dime, all sorts of exotic defenses, but you have to do it anyway. Ordinarily, you might want to run the football a little bit, try and get them out of it. But as you noted, this time of the game, this point on the clock, had to throw it. A look at the running back, the man out of the backfield as he gears up to go again. So at the start of this game, it looked like the defense was wearing him down a little bit. Now you look at the numbers, that's kind of flipped. Yeah, I agree with you totally, and his offensive line has really started to play well. And the best offensive line coaches that I've ever talked to, when they have great runners, you know what they tell their guys? Relax, you don't have to be perfect. Get as many guys as you can, but if you leave one free, the great runner will either make him miss or go through him. So don't worry about that. Don't, you don't have to be so precise. Just go ahead, block some people, try and create some room, and allow him to go to work. Getting late in the fourth now, Charles. Two-minute warning just around the corner. Yeah, some teams just want to get to that spot, take a breath, and then come out and attack for the rest of the game. 93, 93, watch it, watch it. So the Browns in possession of the football here as we get you reset. They've got a second down now as they look to salt this one away. to him right up the gun only two yards on the pick up there and now they're looking at a long third down it's really no surprise to see them running the ball here they've got the lead not much time left they just want to keep the clock moving and they can win it right now and this defense looks for one more stop here on third after the run here we go. and they'll try the ground game here with the running back it's a loss of a full three yards, and it brings up fourth down. I once had a defensive player in the NFL tell me, if I beat and dominate the guy across from me, I'm helping my team. But well, winning one-on-one -on -one battles is always a part of the game. But when you have good team defense, as we just saw there, of one broken tackle, but he didn't get away because the rest of the guys arrived to put him on the ground. The Browns send out their punter now. Remember, though, he did have one blocked earlier. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. Taken in at the 22. Well, he wasn't too far from breaking that. Officially, give him 15. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. 
And now out come the Steelers. They're down big here late. I don't know. You just one last drive here for Pride. Some people like to do that. I remember playing for a guy once we were down huge, and someone said, Coach, what do you want to call? He just waved a hand like, who cares? Let's get out of here and do something some other time. But some teams like to do something at the end to feel a little bit better. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. the gun they'll look to throw oh there's that man again it's complete six yards is the pickup and that'll lead to a third down completed pass on second down now it's third down as the defense looks for the stop they're gonna look to throw and he finds a man with a crossing round now hold everything here we're gonna get a timeout by the offense That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Back to throw now on first down. Surveying the field. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Offense. One receiver left, three to the right. Back to throw. And he's got his favorite target yet again. It's complete. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. That'll be their third and final stoppage here as we step aside. They'll look to throw. And that will be incomplete. They were going for a consolation TD, but it was not to be. And time has run out now on this game. A big offensive explosion helped leading them to victory. And the defensive guys, they're just saying, hey, put those points up every week. We'll just keep winning. They will gratefully accept them, won't they? It makes their job that much easier when they're scoring that many points. Allows them to play with a totally different style and a different flow. So for the Browns, they close out this first half at a very solid 6-2. And, and they'll return home next week to take on the Cincinnati Bengals. Meanwhile, for the Steelers, the struggles intensify as they drop to 2-6 and six now on the year. And they will get a home date next week as they will take on the Dallas Cowboys. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gawden. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. With that, we sign off from Heinz Field.